So, finishing up information classification. Um, and uh, yes, we will be talking about finishing up uh, shortly. But anyway, um, a couple of aspects. In terms of the technology, there is uh, the issue of marking and labeling, which may sound like the same thing, and indeed it's very similar, but there is a a slight uh, technical difference. Marking is uh, an indication that is human-readable, that you know, you, you put a warning label at the top of a document or, or when uh, information comes up on a screen, there's a bit of a warning saying, you know, this material is classified at such and such a level. Uh, just to tell people, you know, don't blab this around or, you know, whatever it may be. Or, or you know, as I say, um, if we're going for multilateral uh, uh, classifications, uh, we may be telling people, you know, take extra care with the integrity of this information. Uh, uh, make sure that this uh, doesn't get corrupted. Uh, make sure that this is available. Make, you know. So, um, whatever it may be, that it's, it's a warning to the people. Now, labeling may sound like the same thing, because after all, you know, you mark it. Uh, if you've got a backup tape or something like that, you mark it with a physical label. But label, in terms of information classification, actually refers to the machine-readable designation of information. And so, again, in, uh, you know, we'll talk about this in access control, but in a mandatory access control system, the information is labeled in some way with the sensitivity of the information. Um, there, and and the the label tells the machine. Okay, we compare the sensitivity of this information with the clearance of the person or sometimes process that is requesting access. And so uh, that is how we're maintaining in in terms of. The technology, uh, the integrity, uh, the availability, um, the confidentiality of that information. Um, you know what? What is it that they, the technology is using, as as well as whatever processes and functions that may be available. It's the the label on this information that tells it this is a certain level of classification and the protections are to be applied at that level. Uh, So, uh, like I say, you know, marking and labeling, you know, conceptually it's the same thing. It's just marking is going to be human readable. Labeling is going to be machine readable. Uh, So, uh, subtle subtle distinction, and and in these days when mandatory access control is not very widely used or non-discretionary or whatever type, you know, basically everything is discretionary access control these days, which is why uh, we have the problem with information classification, that everybody does their own, they do it inconsistently, Um, we don't uh, have to make those choices. We don't have to make those designations. We don't have to apply those labels to the information. And therefore, because we don't have to, we don't, then we get in trouble. Hmm. Ah, Well, um, as I say, to finish up, we'll talk about declassification. Because, uh, just like, you know, when you save information, you have to have some plan for what you are going to do with the information eventually when you don't want it anymore, or it's not relevant. And uh, so declassification is an issue. Otherwise, you know, we have highly sensitive information that we are storing forever that nobody cares about anymore. You know, uh, 
the time-sensitive nature of information. We talked about that in terms of the factors for determining classification in the first place. Well, you know, over time, that information may become less important. On the other hand, over time, that information may become more important. That's interesting. You know, so uh, there, there is also reclassification uh, that may have to apply in, in some cases. But, uh, you know, definitely uh, the more common situation is going to be that we need to declassify this material because we don't need it anymore. Um, or it's not valuable anymore. Um, so what do we, what do we do with that? Well, of course, we have, uh, we have policies in place. We should have decided policies. Um, how often do we look at this stuff? How do we look at this stuff? Are there certain triggers, um, which can apply to whole, uh, classes of information or, or bundles of information uh, that are going to need declassification or reclassification um, under certain circumstances or at certain times. Uh, but yeah, make sure that you don't just classify once and then it's the same forever. Um, it's not. Situations change. We need to know is this information still important to us? Is this information uh, uh, still uh, dangerous to us if it gets disclosed? Is this information uh, no longer of concern? Um, make sure that we deal with it appropriately and follow the procedures, follow the policy follow the guidance and directions that we have thought about in terms of what do we do in this situation. And you'd better have had the policy to do that and the procedures and the thought in advance. What are we going to do about it? <laughs>